Hi everybody, it's Tanya and I'm here with an activity of the week. This week, our learning targets are learning to be prepared for the, the job or the task that we're going to be doing. We're also going to be working on those listening skills um, and we're gonna be doing a little bit of problem solving on top of that. Let's find out what we're gonna do. Okay, so what is our activity? Well, we're going to work on getting ourselves organized. We're gonna work on figuring out um, if we have all the supplies we're going to need for the next several weeks. We're also going to be working on, um, you know, problem solving. What if we don't have something? How do we get it? Um, if you are using your box at home, your box should have about four weeks worth of supplies in it. So that's about between seven to eight activities. Um, if you are doing it at school, I think yours has more. I'm gonna open up my box and we're gonna see what's inside. Okay, let's open it up. Okay, Schoology friends, here we go. I am going to open up my box. I have not actually looked inside this box at all, so it's a surprise, just like for you. I'm gonna describe um, the items as we go so that you guys can see if you can find them and uh, match them up to what I have. And then we're gonna try to figure out later uh, what we're gonna do with all of it. We're gonna go through the contents of the majority of this box. Um, your boxes may be a little different than mine in the fact that um, I don't exactly know how many weeks Nikki has put in my box. It's a surprise. I think you guys for the most part have one, two, three, four, maybe four um, or five weeks worth of activities um, in your box and then a few extras. So the first thing we're going to, I'm gonna describe for you guys is, drum roll, um, it looks kind of like a folder and it's got a whole bunch of papers in it. See if you can find it. All right, mine looks like this. It's got some different um, coloring activities. It's got some word finds, um, some different types of puzzles, some blank sheets. Um, set that to the side. This has some material in it, and then it's got um, like two thin strips of material with little um, plastic, I don't even know what you would call these things, dinkle hoppers, nope, wait, that's like a fork. Um, hmm, we should have asked. Anyways, two little plastic things that help hold these thin strips of material to make a loop. All right, see if you can find them. All right, this is what mine looks like. Oops, there are those plastic things I was talking about. Two sets of strips that are long and thin, and then some um, material. It says sewing a mask. I'm getting a little nervous, you guys. Sewing is not my forte. All right, next. Um, it looks like a circle piece of material, one that's a medium sized circle and one that's a large circle and some um, batting. It kind of looks like um, white uh, cotton candy. Don't eat it. It's in another Ziploc bag. See if you can find it. All right, did you find this? Look, it's white squishy cotton candy, but it's not really cotton candy, it's cotton batting. And then, one big circle, one smaller circle. It says pin cushion. Hmm, set it to the side. Okay, look for the bag that has just one small piece of material in it. All right, did you find one that looks like this? It says repairing a hole. All it is is a piece of material, which has a hole. Set it to the side. Alrighty, next one. We've got a small square of fabric and I have two buttons. The buttons have two holes in them. Hmm. Let's see if you can find it. All right, does yours look like this? See the buttons have two holes in them. It's a two hole button kit. Set it to the side. 
since we found the two hole button kit, let's see if we can find one that has four holes. It's got two four hole buttons and a piece of square fabric. Find it. Is this what you found? Four holes in the button. Set it to the side. Okay, this one has, it's a bigger package with that same white cotton candy cotton batting um, that was in our pin cushion. It's got a red big heart and it looks like red small heart in felt. See if you can find it. All right, heart pillow is what it says. It's got a big um, bag of batting and then half hearts, but I'm guessing they're folded and they're gonna be a full heart. All right, set it to the side. Okay, in this one, we have a bunch of different pieces of um, paper. There's rectangles, there's big rectangles, little rectangles, middle-sized rectangles, and the one that I have also has what looks like a cutout rose. Hmm, and it's also got something that's a the biggest piece of paper also has flaps on it. See if you can find it. All right, did you find a kit that looks like this? It says Valentine's Day card. I'm guessing that's what that's gonna be for, making a card to tell someone that we care about them. All right, set it to the side. Okay, one more thing. I almost showed you what it was. All right, this one has just giant rectangle um, of material. See if you can find it. All right, this one says Bowl Cozy. It's got several different types of material in it, but they're all cut the exact same size. Set it to the side. Okay, now you're going to find one that has some paper, and that paper has a bunch of pictures and stuff on it. It's in a Ziploc bag, um, and uh, looks like some paper that's folded. See if you guys can find it. It kind of looks like this, you guys. Hmm. It says interest inventory. This is actually one that we're going to be working on with um, our work coordinators to help us figure out what kind of jobs we might like or want in the future. It's always good to have, think about what you're interested in. Set it to the side. Okay, this one, mine has some red felt in it and a piece of folded paper. Um, I'm not sure if that's it, but this, this is actually two packages. Um, there's also another package that also has the red felt. It's got some um, rubber bands and some hair binders. See if you can find these two kits, two kits. All right, kit number one, no sew mask. All right, well, hmm. And the other one, no sew mask number two. Very similar, a little bit different, but I'm gonna guess we use them together. Set them to the side. All right, the last um, thing that we need to talk about is I want you to find a plastic, it's a black, plastic kind of bowl and it's got, or container, it's got a plastic lid that's see-through and it's got a bunch of stuff inside. We're going to look at what's inside. We're going to talk a little bit about it because we're going to need this for many of our upcoming projects. All right, did you grab this? You guys, this is a sewing kit for you guys each to keep. Um, let's open it up and see what's inside. All right couple pieces of material. This is just um, so that we can practice stitches and things like that. It's, it's not going to be used for a project. All right, these are needles. Guys, these are sharp. So just so you know, it doesn't exactly feel great when you poke it, poke your finger. But um, we're going to be working on learning how to do some sewing and basic, um, fixing of things. A patch, in case we ever have to patch anything. All right, we got some more of those buttons. 
four and two. Sometimes we lose buttons and we need to be able to um, fix that. Okay, this one, I don't know if you can really see it there a little bit. This is called hem tape. And this is something that you can use to um, hem your pants so you can make your pants a little bit shorter. For those of us that are um, short to begin with, they don't always make pants to fit us. All right, then you have <laughs> this. Nikki and I got a little chuckle. Well, Nikki probably got more of a chuckle out of out of it than anything because I thought it was like so that we could set our buttons there or something as a template. No, you guys, <laughs> it's a brilliant idea. This is, be it's a magnet and we're gonna use it to, um, when we're using pins, look at that. Our pins stay <laughs> where they're supposed to or our, um, our needles, okay? Then we have a little bobbin of thread, a seam ripper. Ugh. We'll talk about that a little bit more. Ooh, tape measure flexible. Oh, and another bobbin of thread. Then you have this little kit. When you open it up, it has something like this. Just a second, let me show you. Oh, that's not even the best. Let me see if it works better this way. Can you see that a little better? This is something so that it'll help us thread, and I'm going to teach you how to use that. A good old-fashioned thimble. It's not only my favorite thing on the uh, Monopoly board to, to be the thimble. We always used to fight over it. I never won. I was always the shoe. Um, but thimbles are what protect our fingers from getting poked from needles. And then you've got a bunch of different, you've got safety pins, which are the ones that clasp. And then you've got straight pins, which have a colored head on them. Okay. We got a couple different sizes of each of those types of pins. All right, now you're just gonna put everything back in your kit, just the way you found it. And we're gonna talk about it next time. Okay, next time, we are going to be starting a unit on sewing. Now, several of the staff will probably get a good chuckle out of the fact that I'm going to be working on helping you guys learn sewing because it is not my strength. I'll even tell some funny stories about me and sewing <laughs> as we go. But next week, we are going to be learning about threading a needle and how to do a basic stitch and some of those practice um, skills that we're going to need as we um, develop our skills and do more and more advanced projects. Um, that being said, remember, I'm right there with you guys on this one. It's not my strength. Um, I'm going to be learning. I'm going to be struggling. And we're going to persevere through this. We're going to work on um, having all of our supplies ready for us so that we are ready to get to work. And um, we're going to work hard on those listening skills as well as those problem solving because we are going to run into problems as we do this. So um, let's gear up. And uh, I'll see you guys next week when we start to learn about sewing.